Hey, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. And the reason I'm being quiet is because we're in the Lamborghini dealership. We have some very special cars like Diablo SV and this this modified uh, Mercy Lago. We have we have a few SVs in here as well. So, um, and we also have a photo shoot going on right here with a special car. So let's go check those out. What do you think of this? What is this like? Nardo chicane, Nardo gray or chicane gray? I don't know. But I don't like soft top. And I don't either, but don't it's like the only kind of roaster that they had back then. But it looks really good. This is. The, what do you mean? You never, this is the only performante that I've ever seen with this I one. I was going to say, because I was like, I don't remember seeing I, that I mean, anything else. But this one always has it. The Gerardo performante always had the stripes on it. I These like never that. do, so that's why I like this. You guys remember that black SV that uh, showed up with the white? Uh, SV logo, except it was right here. This one's unowned. Come get this one. Come come buy this one so there could be two matching SVs. And then here's a normal black SV that looks really good. This one is matte and white. This one is just... It's just black and has carbon fiber everywhere. Then we have Gerardo right here. Gerardo Performante. And it looks really good. Second gen, and then we have a GT3 RS, and they're doing a photo shoot right now with a uh, 50th anniversary. Here we got a Diablo, the gated manual. It's got a uh, 5.7 liter V12 with 510 horsepower, I believe. The rear wheel drive. This is before Lamborghini started all wheel drive, uh, building all of their cars. But yeah, this is a rear wheel drive car. And this it's manual. This one. This one's not manual, and it's, it's kind of disappointing. But this one's all-wheel drive. It's got a 6.5 liter V12. I actually didn't know that. So there you go. It says it right there, by the way. I like the white coloring on this. It's got carbon fiber all over it. It's got a V12. I think it's got 750 horsepower. I could be wrong there. Um, but that's what the SV has. And this isn't far off from an SV other than that badge right there and no wing. Also has kind of a different side uh, and front. I mean, look at this. It's kind of a 1016 Industries, like or maybe like a Vorsteiner uh, body kit. You can get on the normal Aventador. We don't have one of those here. Uh, you get like a something like this for your Aventador. We have a couple cars here in Dallas that have that. 720. So yeah, it has 720 horsepower. By the way, for those of you who don't know, that number right there. That's to indicate the amount of horsepower that this car has. So, for those of you who um, just don't know, look at all the side vents. You need three side vents for the engine back here. Also, this is directing airflow to the brakes and the engine. You know how that goes. But yeah, this car is so cool. It looks actually amazing. We have a Huracan Evo Spider. Yeah, it looks really good. I love the red stitching in here and the iconic Lamborghini start stop button. So yeah, tell me, what do you guys think of this white? What do you think of the white on the 50th anniversary? There's only 200, okay. There's only 200 anniversary uh, editions of the Aventador in the world. There's 100 coupes and 100 um, roadsters. And we've seen like three of these. It's insane. See something disappointing? This is the Aventador Mira edition. There's only 50 of these in the world. I'm fine with it because I find with it being covered because I've seen it like eight times. Also, yeah, if you know, you'll know when you see an Aventador uh, Mira because they have the uh, golden bottoms and the golden rims. This one's in blue, as you guys can tell. But yeah, we've seen this one before um, a couple times last year. Hopefully, we'll see it again very soon. <laughs> Accessory, accessory. So this is for your tires. This makes your tires not wear down if your car's just sitting here for it. Don't touch. I didn't. I touched them. Mm, but they mean, you know what? Okay, this is a Pirelli edition, guys. It's also covered. There's only a few of these in the world. It's really cool. Mm. Here's a Huracan Evo Coupe. It's in the same color as that. Okay, Chad in my shot. This is the same, <laughs> I'm kidding. This is the same color. That's Chad, by the way. Oh, go subscribe to his channel. I'm plugging you. In about a year, I'm plugging subscribe. you. Yeah, I'm plugging you right now. Okay. But still. Follow my Instagram, it's better. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So this is a uh, Huracan Evo. It's the same color as the Aventador right here. About. Probably a different shade, but I don't really know my shades very much. Also, look at here. 
it's got that performante style exhaust. Uh, same thing with the SVJ. I think Lamborghini's gonna go for like upper mounted exhaust from now on. Don't entirely know what they're gonna do. Also, you can definitely tell the difference in the tail lights and the way they're built because the Huracan, um, the normal Huracan, actually has just a solid strip of black with the tail lights still the same. Also, the Evo has a ducktail and it looks really good. It's also a little bit lower, I think, um, and the wheels look awesome. And this, this intake, this side intake right here sticks out a lot more and it has a little fin in there. Yeah, that's what Lamborghini's doing. I mean, looky here. They have the little fins and winglets right here uh, to, to, you know, for more downforce. This car is super aerodynamic, you know? So yeah, they have two different rims. This one, is they're actually the same rims, but this one just has little chrome bits on it. And same thing with that one right there. Chrome bits, non-chrome bits. All right, I like this GT3 RS. I think this right here would be the car, other than the Diablo SV, would be probably the car that I choose over any other car in here. I'm not joking. This thing has such a special place in my heart with its flat six. I think it's a turbocharged flat six as well. It has a Nurburgring track record. Not right now. That's to the SVJ. But this this car looks so good. Yeah, I love the. I think it's like a lava red, lava orange. I'm not entirely sure. But it just looks amazing. What's it gonna do? It's gonna be loud, boys. So that's actually a Huracan Avio. This is, okay, so you guys know Troy's Huracan, uh, the uh, gray and orange one. That's the same car, but it's not his car. There's two cars with the exact same spec and one of them is Troy's, one of them is here. This is the Mira, that's the Pirelli edition. And then all of these right here is the uh, Huracan Evo. And then you got your little Performante, those uh, get out of Performante spiders. It's a little cute car. Right. Okay, look at that. Literal spaceship. There's butterfly doors right there. It's really, really good. I completely forgot to tell you guys about this Diablo SV. It's had a, I think a six liter V12, or like the other one, 5.7 liter V12. Uh, it actually varies between the two. I didn't know that, but it does, and I don't know how to tell the difference. Anyway, it's a Diablo SV. There's a very special place in my heart, and probably everyone else's heart for this car. They're very rare. But not as rare as you think. There's 2,884 of these in the world. I don't know why they chose that number. There's probably less of them because, you know, people crash them. But it's got a wing. As for the other one up there, it doesn't. And it has the double uh, roof scoop right here. The other one doesn't. No other Lamborghini has a double roof scoop like that. The Huracan has something, the Performante has something like that. But it's kind of like towards the back. I'll see if I can show you guys what I mean by that. See, look right here. It's got the double roof scoop. And over here, like that Huracan right there has like a, a engine scoop not on the hood but there's the other, other one that has like a intake kind of a double intake like that I don't entirely know what I think I know it's for a fact like an ALA system this goes in and out right here to push the car down same thing with this right here look how angled that wing is that's just for extra downforce. Oh, and by the way, it's forged carbon fiber. So if it looks like the bottom of your grandma's floor, it's forged carbon fiber. And it looks really, really good. It's a Ferrari F335. It looks pretty good. Kind of like the uh, poor man's Testarossa. But it looks really good. I'm not entirely sure the significance, what the significance of this car is. Don't know if it's as special as a Testarossa or not. But it looks really good. See? F three thirty five or three fifty five Bronetta. I thought it was three thirty five. F three fifty five Bronetta. Got it right there. Yeah, I don't entirely know about this car. Also, we have a six one five two Spider. Oh, 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 oh,
It's a V8, absolute spaceship. Uh, we saw it pulling in just a couple minutes ago and it sounded pretty good, looks pretty good, and that's gonna be a good spot to just wrap up our video. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you need to do to follow me on YouTube, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. See ya.